Now for Truth or Fake, our daily uh, fact-checking segment, and James Creedon joins me in the studio. Hi, Yana. Uh, James, you're starting with the claims online that Russia is using mobile crematoriums in order to manage the scale of casualties in the war in Ukraine. That's right. Now, it's a claim that's been doing the rounds for a few weeks, and uh, our journalists have been talking to one of the media in, in Belarus, actually, that relayed this piece of information. So you can see here an image of what is being presented as a mobile crematorium, all very grim. But of course, we are talking about war. There are a lot of casualties. And um, so the, basically the claim here is that uh, you can see in, in Nextat Media, which is one of the main opposition media in uh, Belarus, uh, mobile crematoria in Mariupol. The mayor of Mariupol has said today that the Russian mobile crematoria are, have started operating in the city. According to him, tens of thousands of people could have died in Mariupol. And this is a, in, a, in a bid to cover up the scale of the atrocities and the scale of um, the casualties. In any case, uh, that image, what we can say concretely and certainly about it, is when you do a reverse image search on it, it goes back to 2013. It takes you to a YouTube um, a YouTube, ch a YouTube video and the legend, you can see it's exactly the same image there. The, you, that actually it, it was being used for the uh, incineration of biological waste. So it actually has nothing to do with dead bodies or war and certainly not war right now. So that's completely fake. The thing is, it was used to illustrate uh, that uh, that claim. And the, the claim, I suppose, can't 100% be contested because we, we don't have access to all of the facts. Maybe these mobile crematory exist. Perhaps it's a total fiction. But uh, several media did use this image uh, to illustrate the idea, including Next uh, Media. Now, Next, contacted by our journalists, they, their response to that was, well, we just use this for illustration purposes. In other words, the facts might actually be uh, accurate, but the image, yes, it was just an illustration. And other media also used it, which is, I would say, I would argue, not really a defence. that. Whole, really. that <laughs> so they pointed the finger of blame at The Telegraph in the UK saying they also used it, um, which is true, uh, but uh, probably not the best defence. In any case, The Telegraph used it at the time because uh, the British Defence Secretary, Ben Wallace, did mention that Russians had used such vehicles in the past. We're, we're, it all remains in a very grey zone when it comes to the facts of whether these vehicles are being used or not. What we can concretely say is this image is false and it doesn't illustrate that claim. It's not easy to stay on top of all of this, but we must no. <laughs> as journalists. Indeed. Uh, next, two uh, false claims attributed to uh, the BBC related to the missile strike at uh, Kramatorsk railway station that killed 57 civilians. That's right. Now, we have various videos here. Uh, well, a, a video relayed on various different uh, social media accounts. You can see it here. And uh, what, what the claim is, this was, this was an awful uh, incident that killed 57 people at a railway station in Kramatorsk on the 9th of April. And the, there are, you know, divergent points of view or uh, accusations as to who was responsible for that. For the Ukrainians, it's the Russians. For the Russians, it's the Ukrainians. And in any case, this, is a, this claims to be a BBC report. You can see the graphics and indeed the logo up here, uh, very, uh, very much faithful to the BBC, uh, B B BBC graphics. And it, what, it, what it is essentially saying, and you can see it relayed in various other media here, this is a, a Russian journalist who uh, is uh, uh, tweeting this today. And he says that, uh, that the BBC story about this Ukrainian missile responsible for the attack, so they're saying it's a Ukrainian missile, um, killing dozens of civilians. So you, you can see there that the BBC story, or the, the supposed BBC story, is what has been used to authenticate or to verify the claim that it was the Ukrainians behind the attack. In any case, uh, just it's pretty easy to dismantle this one. The BBC themselves said, uh, that's not a report. We had nothing to do with this. We are aware of a fake. We are aware of a fake video with BBC news branding suggesting that Ukraine was responsible for last week's missile attack when the Ukrainians themselves said actually it was Russia. So the graphics and the logo uh, are false because this was a, an edited video uh, that was claiming to be the BBC and it was not. As for the facts, it's claim and counterclaim and I'm certainly not in a position to say what happened. I don't know. All I know is that the BBC uh, have denied that they had anything to do with uh, saying that this was a Ukrainian missile. A lot of uh, photoshopping in fake news then. Absolutely. Thank you so much. What's real James. anymore? What is real anymore? Thank you so much James <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Now well, let's end this hour of